Hi, I don't think a lot of people understand the implications of deepfake in the businesses. And so in this example, I'm going to take the use case of movies or the cinema industry. Let's say you're Christopher Nolan. You just produced Tenet, in which Robert Peterson is one of the leading actors. What's happened's happened, which is an expression of faith in the mechanics of the world. It's not an excuse to do nothing. But at the same time, Keanu Reeves and Matthew McConaughey have their own fan following. Yeah. So why limit us the consumer? Why can't this be the case that on the screening day we all go to cinema, we see the same movie but with our favorite choice of actors and actresses appearing in them based on deepfake. Now without going into the intricacies of policy making, ethics or responsible AI, I want to touch base two topics. From a technological perspective, a novel use case would be that we mature the technology and we make it accessible on the intelligent edge. So in the cinemas, where people are seated, they are wearing special form of glasses and defect technology on the fly is rendering the same movie for every person in their favorite choice of actors and actresses. Now look at the implication of this whole thing. We can have Al Pacino appearing in one of the new movies from his youth days or we can have a new actor in an older movie. Justice must be done. And for your wicked attempts to corrupt these processes, justice will be done on you. Now, from an economy perspective, this would change a lot of things. For example, actors are being paid. So you can just produce the movie with some of the original actors. And then once screening is over, once box office is over, you pay the actor based upon how many people actually showed up and wanted to see this movie as them appearing as the leading actor or actresses. This is certainly a sort of future I would want to live in. What do you think?